don't forget to pray. But don't be ashamed to pray. And don't be too proud to pray. Listen to me. I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what, what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. Prayer changed things. I'm talking to a girl that I grew up on a block, man, that it didn't breed success. A lot of people on our block ain't here no more, man. I grew up in a place, man, that was, that was you had to be something else you come up out of there. Prayer changes things. I was told I would never be nothing. Prayer changes things. I flunked out of school. Prayer changes things. I'm on my third marriage, lost everything I've owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. Prayer changes things. Prayer. The cool thing about prayer is the one thing that's available to everybody at any given time. Do you know that God ain't ever too he ain't never too busy for you. You know that God actually knows who you are. Do you know that God actually created you to converse with him? Do you know that God would actually love to hear from you? You're not going to make it without God. If you've tried it so far, tell me how that's working out for you. It sucked, don't it? You need God. Don't, don't you think I got here without him. I've needed him every step of the way. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be standing here today. I'm telling you right now, you need God. You need to tell him that you need him. Quit being ashamed about it and worry about who looking. Go somewhere by yourself today and tell God you need some help. Tell him that you're just tired of trying to figure it out for yourself. God has an incredible life for you. He really does. But, but you ain't going to get there if you give up. You can't get to what God got for you if you, if, if, if you, if you stop. You, you can't get to what God got for you if you're afraid. Now, I know taking chances is, is, is kind of fretful. But the best things in life is on the other side of fear. But one of the things that I've always done to help overcome my fears is I make my dreams bigger than all my fears. I have dreams that's so big that not, not getting there is just unacceptable. It, it doesn't make any sense for you not to have the life that you dream of. It does not make any sense. God really does want to use you as an example of what he can do. You just got to volunteer. But you got to be willing to go through something to get to it. If success ain't free. They ain't passing out money, man. Anybody sending none to your house, that ain't how this works. You got to go get it. But in order to go get it, you got to want something. You got to have vision boards. You got to have stuff you dream about. You got to have this stuff written down. That being successful is not an accident. Hey man, stop thinking, man, that your life is over because you're a certain age. Oh, who are you to determine? You know what I can't stand when I hear Christians say, well, I guess it, I guess it was the Lord's will. If it was the Lord's will, I would have had some money by now. No, 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 you can't dump that on God. God's will is that you prosper. That's his will. Now, the fact that you have made some adverse decisions to stop your prosperity train from happening. Don't dump that on him. God comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly. That's what he say. Well, then the question is, where you're abundant at? You're going down to church and memorizing all these scriptures. Why don't, you, why don't you apply some of them? He come to give you life and give you life more abundantly. God got a great life for you, man, but you got to want something. You got to want it, you got to write it down. Most people don't have what they want in life because it ain't written down nowhere.
This ain't no philosophy. This a fact. What you waiting on? Write it down. Put some faith on it. And then get ready to go to work. Sit up and you can believe in God all you want, but if you don't work, man, it ain't gonna happen. Because he for he told you that though. He said faith without works is dead. I'm just asking you, man, to try something new. If you've tried everything, it ain't worked for you. I'm just asking you, just, just try writing it down. Just try writing it down. Go home and read Rebecca 2 and 2 and see, see if you don't get the feeling he talking to you. After you write it down, I want you to put some faith on it. When you put some faith on it, I want you to work for it. I want you to believe in your heart that you will have it. Now, you might not want this life. You might not want what it take to get here. But if you want this life, you got to put it in your work. You got to put it in. You got to stay prayerful. You got to never give up. You got to talk to God every day. Now, if that ain't what you want to do, then good luck. You keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been going. All I ever asked God for was to let me eat. Let me sit at the table with the big boy. Take me from this homelessness that I'm in and fill my coffers with, 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 with spoils. You know how much I have today? I have more than I ever thought I'd ever have. I got more. God didn't gave me more than I asked for because he got this thing he has called grace. Grace is, I wish, I wish I could buy it. You know, I wish I could buy grace, man. I was playing golf with an old guy that owns the Mayo Clinics. The Mayo Clinics. You know how much money you got to have to own all of them? I'm playing golf with this guy and he taught me something. He said, Steve, listen to this. You seem like a spiritual guy. I want to share something with you. He said, justice is when you get what you deserve. Mercy is when you don't get what you deserve. He said, but grace is different from both of them. Grace is when you get what you don't deserve. Do you understand that? God has this thing that he passes out called grace. You ever heard old people say, all I want is a little more grace? Because guess what? He passes it out and he gives you things you don't deserve. I do not deserve this life I have. I'm just telling you flat out. The money I make, where I live, what I drive, how I travel, how I vacation, I don't deserve it. I work really hard. But I really don't deserve all of this. I don't. I'm telling you flat out, I don't deserve it. But he gave me grace. He let me survive homelessness. He bought me from dark, man. I've been out. Y'all don't know. I've been in it, man. I'm so grateful that God let me have this life he gave me that I don't even know what to do. Do you know when I was homeless, I told God every day, if you let me make it, when I get there, I'm going to tell everybody it was you. Well, guess what? I'm telling you that it was him. I have no education. I ain't got a degree of any kind. What you see today is a boy that come out the bottom who believed in him when it wasn't no sign of me getting over, who kept doing this thing that his mother taught him. She said, when it get dark for you and you can't find your way, and boy, I was lost. She said, don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer Prayer changes things. You have got to pray. You know what you ought to get? You ought to, you ought to create your relationship with God. Because if you do that, he going to put some grace on you. And he going to give you some things you don't deserve. Then you won't need no education. You won't need to go and complete the program no more. You ain't got to go over here and ask nobody will they hide. God takes you to places that you never ever thought you could you go. I never saw myself here, but that God I serve, he saw me here and he put me here.
And all I'm doing right now is telling you that with God, you can make it. I don't know why he had you come to this show. I don't know why I'm telling it to you like this today. But if you ain't ever tried God, listen to me. You should try him. Because he's very available to you right now. He don't love me no more than he love you. If God can pick me up, and you have no idea who you're really looking at. You don't know what I've done. If God can change me, he change anybody in this room. God is good, man.